ंगेट <laughs> क्षता दावे श्रीलंका <laughs> As hard as you run you just never seem to catch everybody up and of course the break does come after the third bend but at the moment you have to say the Japanese have gone off very fast indeed and i reckon at the end it could be between the sides of the teams in lanes 3 and 4 the Saudis and Japan and now the Saudis actually have run a fast closing element to that stage so it is the Saudis they may well break to the front what I think it's actually uh, Sri Lanka in blue who had the best first leg to plan and a real problem at the first changeover. Second leg runner here for Japan, Yusuke Kanemoto trying to make up ground. He was fourth in the 400 meters. So Japan with another very strong runner on this leg. He was second uh, part of that team that got silver in the 4x100. But Japan lead. 
Saudi Arabia in second, coming through on the blue there. It's Sri Lanka in third place. It's great running here from the uh, Saudi runner. It's Al Bishi, Hamid Hamdan Al Bishi, fourth from the 200. And what a leg he's run. And the Japanese have been passed by no less than three teams here. They're back in fourth place. They've got a lot, lot of work to do, haven't they? The Japanese, you've got to bear in mind that the Saudis, on their final leg, have the individual champion, Hamdan Al Bishi. So, if he gets the baton in hand, if not at the front, somewhere near it, he's going to take an awful lot of beating. But bear in mind, the Japanese have the 400 meter hurdles winner, Kenji Narusako, on their final leg. I tell you what, it's going to turn into a marvelous climax to the athletics of these games. Saudi Arabia lead then on the second leg, and a great leg here from their man. It's uh, Hamad Hamdan Al Bishi who's pulled him six, eight, ten meters clear. Fabulous running from India in second place. India in second. Japan and Sri Lanka in third equal, really, at the change over there as they go into this third leg. But I think maybe Saudi Arabia have done enough. Final leg then, Saudi Arabia. Hamad Awa Al Bishi, the individual 400 meters champion out in front. Japan, a little bit disappointing. Bad first changeover and trouble here. They're in second place with two teams breathing down their neck. It's India in third, Sri Lanka in fourth. No doubt about who the champions are going to be. The defending champions, Saudi Arabia, are going to come home several meters to the good here. Al Bishi, the individual 400 meter champion in the season's best, is taking them further and further clear. And look at the battle for the silver. It's India. India, the silver medalist in last two occasions, make it three silvers. And Sri Lanka take the bronze ahead of Japan. Oh, Narisato must have been tired there. He couldn't hang on. Indeed, two teams passing him there on the final leg. But it's gold for Saudi Arabia. They retain their title, the winning time, 305.32. It's quick running from the Saudis. Great running from India there on the final leg. Their last man, Vinu Matthew. All the Indian squad competing for the first time in these games. And what a race they've had. And Sri Lanka too, all credit to them, retaining the bronze that they took four years ago in Busan. Well, it didn't really turn into the race that I rather hoped it might. And when Hamdan al Bishi received the baton well clear, well, it was just a coast, wasn't it, for the individual champion? Kenyatta Sarko, he was a little bit disappointing, really, when you consider what a supreme 400 meter hurdler he is. You would have expected him to do enough or have enough to take the silver medal. But uh, this Saudi quartet, they're rather useful, aren't they? I reckon their, uh, their skills will extend beyond the continent. If they can keep this quartet together, they could trouble some of the uh, best in the world when we get to the global championships next year and, of course, the Olympic Games in two years' time. But this fella, he's been around a while, but he's looking better than ever, isn't he, now? Well, this Saudi quartet won four years ago in a national record of 3.02. 0.47, almost two seconds clear of India. Can you believe it's India who've run through to the silver medal again tonight? Over a second behind them, the Saudis setting a season's best. It was a very comfortable victory indeed. But look at this from India. Fabulous running, lovely form there too from Binu Makay Matthew of India to bring them home for the silver medal. And Sri Lanka, what a run for Jaya Sundara. Fabulous stuff to finish just less than a metre ahead Hello, of Japan. Uh... Awasan masih lama berada di kena pulang. Ini pada kemasahan ini tanah dia tak berapa pergi ke lingkungan sahabat dia cakap lagi. Sama sekali tidak ada. Tetapi kita masih ada. Mereka masih ada. Tetapi kita 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 masih ada. Here is the final change. Show the little bit of the height. 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 In the stadium, the bronze medalists eventually, by a very small margin, the Sri Lankans, just out dipping Japan in the last two or three strides. They battled to the last and ended up taking this place on the rostrum. 
Third time for the bronze medal. Three minutes, 6.97 seconds. And how much that will be celebrated back home in Sri Lanka. Turning back the might of Japan, which of course is verging on being one of the superpowers of world athletics. of Pradeep Kimura Rohan, Pushpa Kimura Rohita, Amrozek Dom Dampe, and Ashoka Jayasundara. Now they might not be household names, but relays as we've heard earlier on today are not necessarily about individual stardom, they're about the cohesiveness and cooperation within a squad. In my word to the Sri Lankans, give everything for each other and for the rest of their team. The silver medal goes to India. They took gold in the women's 4 by 400 meters relay. Silver this time in the men's race. They seem to be rather good at teamwork, don't they? Abu Bakr Tanikal, Joseph Abraham, Bupinda Singh, and Binu K. Matthew. Blasting past the uh, Japanese and holding off the Sri Lankans in the home straight to take the silvers in the time of the champions once again. Their time, three minutes, 5.31 seconds. The season's best and they won by well over a second. Quartet of Ismail al Sabani, Hamid Hamdan al-Bishi, Mohammed al Sali, Hamdan Aouda al-Bishi, the individual 400 meters champion, were quite unstoppable. All three teams indeed finishing in the same order as four years ago. Saudi Arabia, India and Sri Lanka. Just run out of the medals, you'll remember. A disastrous first changeover, proving so, so costly. They finished inches behind the bronze medal Sri Lanka, and yet lost many, many meters.